Well, Kerry Allen from BBC Monitoring is here with me in the studio. Kerry, you've been following this very closely. Has there been a total media and social media blackout? There has, yes. Um, in, uh, in independent media in Hong Kong and Taiwan, there's, uh, there's a lot of interest and speculation around this. But in mainland China today, um, if you read a newspaper or you're turning on your TV, you're listening to your radio, there's absolutely nothing about it. And the rules are actually stricter on social media. Um, if people type in on Sina Weibo, which is like Facebook or Twitter to people in China. Um, They can't even see anything that mentions North Korea. They just get a message that says um, there are no results shown for this. So they can't see any news articles on North Korea whatsoever. Can people get around this type of censorship? They can and they have been doing. Um, I've seen this morning um, a lot of social media posts that have been censored um, that uh, that don't specifically mention Kim Jong-un by name, um, but um, but are are quite kind of delicately worded or they use a screenshot of a picture of him. Um, But uh, but also today, um, a lot of people have been looking at articles about uh, the US and North Korea um, and um, very old articles. and, uh, And they've been adding their comments saying, I've heard you're here. Are you here? <laughs> right. And, and what are people saying? How is he viewed in, in China? In China, he's not, he's not viewed well at all. Um, in the last two or three years, um, relations between China and North Korea have, have gotten a lot poorer. Um, a lot of people in China are quite anxious about the, um, the previous military um, tri- tests. Um, so, so they've been quite anxious about it. And a lot of the comments that people have been making are quite jokey. Um, they... Um, that some of the comments they've been saying are things um, like, um, oh, you've arrived in your, your big, to see your big auntie, referring to China. Um, so there's always this um, relationship people have in China where they kind of say um, that, um, that that China is, is like a dad or a mother to North Korea and it has to obey by China's rules. Kerry, thank you. Kerry Allen of BBC Monitoring.